over the past two years, we've had a handful of electric bikes come through the GPS shop doors. We've loved some, we've hated some, and some have left us with scars, both emotional and physical. However, none have yet checked all the boxes when it comes to power, versatility, ease of use, fun, and price point. Until now, Enter the Ebox Dragster. The Dragster represents a nice little circle at the center of our Venn diagram. First though, what do you get in the box? The Ebox Dragster comes in what I think is a genius bit of packaging. It says that it's an Ebox entertainment system. It does provide entertainment, but by making it seem like a heavy piece of electronic equipment, which it is, whoever is delivering this big box is less likely to chuck it out of their truck in a drive-by delivery. Not saying they'll give it the white glove treatment, but hopefully it will be treated better than your run-of-the-mill heavy box. Bike assembly and details. Out of the box, you can get the dragster up and running with just a few tools and about an hour of your time. Check back next week when we drop our in-depth build video. But this bike isn't just easy to assemble. It's also easy on the eyes. It comes with front and rear wheels and disc brakes, BMX style handlebars, and a battery and motor to get you where you need to go. The Dragster comes in a variety of colors and features either rugged off-road tires or impressive street slicks. All share the same fun and funky decals on the frame, forks, and battery. The stylish seats and the sticker for the front plate, however, are distinct to each of the four colorways. Pick your poison and ride in style no matter which one you choose. Power-wise, it's got a respectable 60-volt battery with peak power output of 3 kilowatts. Out of the box, it's got a listed top speed of 33 miles per hour, so not super fast. However, thanks to the instantaneous torque, it can get to its top speed pretty darn quick. For zipping around the pits, cruising through your community, or riding out with the homies, the Dragster is an excellent option. It has adjustable knobs here for both speed and aggression, and we'll get back to those in a second. Versatility? Well, with stock options that include either off-road or street tires and an estimated distance of 20 to 22 miles per charge, this thing can go the distance. Not enough? How about an adjustable motor mount, multiple hard points for installing your foot pegs, and an optional wheelie bar for those who want to practice going on one wheel, or to keep this little torque machine on the ground for drag racing. There are plenty of upgrade options available from Go Power Sports and others for everything from battery motor combos to upgraded front ends. Plus, you can charge your phone from the port right here. Nifty. The phone charger will drain your battery, but it also presents a lot of opportunity for further customization of your lights, GPS, speedometers, and filming your rides without fear of your camera dying too quickly. That's a lot of versatility and variety in a small frame. Ease of use. From getting components out of the box, it took us about one hour to put this baby together, and it was ready to ride after about two to three hours to fully charge the battery pack. Now you can skip that step, but I wouldn't recommend it. Now, if you fully drain the battery, from our testing, it takes about five to six hours to get a full charge on the Dragster's battery. And that might be the main foible of the Dragster, and let's be honest, most electric vehicles. The charging times aren't designed for long haul trips. You can absolutely ride this over the meadow and through the woods, but you're gonna be hanging out at grandma's house for a few hours to make the return trip. But after those five to six hours, you've got a fully charged electric bundle of joy with only the flip of a few switches standing between you and electrified two-wheeled freedom. Which brings us back to these guys right here. These adjustable switches for speed and aggressiveness. These are great for getting used to riding this bike and for adjusting the ride for young or inexperienced riders. Now our recommendation at Go Power Sports is to start all the way over at the left on one. You want this thing as low as possible so that you can get comfortable on the bike because even at one on both of these, it still takes off like fun. The Ebox Dragster is just plain fun. 10 out of 10, five stars would recommend to others, period. You won't be taking it down to the track and winning any drag races without some tuning and upgrading. And you don't need to. The Dragster stock out of the box represents a great time for anyone who chooses to straddle the saddle. Just check out the cottage industry of e-box dragster riding footage, wheelie practice, and upgrades on YouTube and TikTok. But that's not enough positive attention from strangers on the internet. How about a few more glowing reviews? It's fun. 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 And it's affordable. Price point. 
at only $14.49, it's cheaper than most other electric mini bikes on the market, and it doesn't run off the equivalent of these. Now wait, by all means, let me know just how wrong, bougie, or out of touch I am in the comments below, but take a second and think about and truly appreciate what you're getting for that price point. This is a fully ready to ride electric bike that is both a true mini bike. It can fit in the back of the Prius and I don't need to worry about oil leaking out of it when it's on its side and is insanely fun to rip around on off-road and in town. So if you're looking for a great turnkey electric bike experience for under $2,000, look no further. Heck, I'm a straight up Luddite and I was able to get this thing working in about an hour. Our mission at Go Power Sports is to sell fun, and it doesn't get much more fun than this. You can get yours now at www.gopowersports.com. Stay fast, stay safe, and ride on. Cue the credits.